from the Maraid starting at 930 on CBS News Colorado. Organizers say the Maraid will go on despite the brutal cold. Let's get things over to First Story meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave, if you're heading out, you need to bundle up. I think we're to start the Maraid if you get there early, like it starts at 930. You get there about 8 o'clock, it's going to be like 4 below zero. And then maybe into the single digits from about 9:30 to 10:30, uh, but it's going to be cold all morning long out there, and it might be snowing as well. So it's going to be a rough morning out there. Let's talk about tonight. Right now we're not bad. We've got wind chills in the teens and 20s around the city. I just wanted to show you this because we're not into the heart of the cold. It is starting to change, but it's going to be taking a while to come together. Our first uh, alert uh, wind chill warning is for all of eastern Colorado, which starts at midnight tonight, and that's when the real cold will take over and the wind will really kick up, but we could see wind chills as low as 40 degrees. So frostbite can occur in about 10 to 30 minutes on that type of thing. So you want to cover every bit of skin up if you're going out. And here's the reason why as uh, we uh, we release heat from our bodies, our bodies lose heat through convection. So if you have no wind at all, there's a, a little layer of heat that remains around your body. So if you have a 20 degree temperature with no wind, it feels like 20 degrees. But then if you get a little wind going, take a look at this guy over here. When it's windy, the air kind of breaks up that insulated warm layer and takes away the heat. Even in a 20 mile per hour wind, this will help speed up the heat loss and make it feel much colder. It'll feel like four degrees in that scenario going on with just a 20 mile an hour wind. We're going to see a lot more wind than that and a lot more cold than that coming up this weekend. So saving the cold, let's talk about the snow now. We'll have snow in the mountains tonight, a shot of snow for the Denver metro area in the northeast late tonight, most likely between 8 and 11 o'clock tonight. I think it'll start in the Denver metro area, and then we'll get a blast overnight uh, as this goes through. By the morning tomorrow, though, we kind of clear out. It'll be cloudy, but the snow will be over. We might have a little snow left on the ground, and then tomorrow night a little clearing before the next wave comes through on Sunday. So for for the mountains, let's detail this. There's two waves coming through. It's snowing up there now. It'll snow tonight, and then we've got another one coming on Sunday. So through 5 p.m. tomorrow, we could see a foot of snow in our northern central mountains, along with up to 70 mile per hour gusts of wind. Then Saturday night, tomorrow night, into Monday evening, 55 mile per hour gusts of wind, and we could see another one to two feet of snow in some of our central and northern mountains coming our way. So any way you slice it, it's going to be rough driving in the mountains. Now for us, overnight tonight, we could see about a half inch to an inch or two of snow around the Denver metro area here by tomorrow morning. So if you do have to get anywhere in the morning tomorrow, you might have a little snow to contend with. And again, there's that wind chill warning, which starts at midnight tonight and runs all the way through Tuesday morning. Lows tonight below zero over northeastern Colorado, single digits down there in southeastern part of the state. And tomorrow, look at the big bite it takes out of the eastern plains, single digits and teens over the eastern plains. And let's pick out one of your neighborhoods. If you are in Parker, the Pioneer Reef, Franktown, 5 to nearly 8 degrees for your high tomorrow. A cold day. Allen's Park at 5, El Dorado Springs and Boulder. You will be right around 8 degrees tomorrow. Denver's official high for our first alert weather day start. 4 degrees, 7 below for the overnight low on Sunday. 7 for the high, 9 below. We do it again on Monday. 5 for the high and 8 below. 3 in a row there for you before we break out of it on Tuesday. So, Michael, we do not get above freezing until Tuesday afternoon. Going to be a really, really cold weekend, Dave. Thank mm -hmm. you. Let's get things over to Rod Mackey. Rod, aren't you glad you're not in Kansas City this weekend? I was just thinking, Michael, had Broncos gotten into the playoffs, they would have been in Buffalo.